Volcanic eruptions are one of nature's most powerful and unpredictable forces. When they strike, the consequences can be devastating. But with the right knowledge and preparation, you can greatly increase your chances of survival. In today's video, we'll walk you through essential steps on what to do before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. So, let's dive right in and learn how to stay safe when the Earth unleashes its fury. Before a volcanic eruption, preparation is key to surviving a volcanic eruption. Here are some vital steps you should take before the eruption occurs. Know your risks first. Understand if you live in a high-risk area. Research the history of volcanic activity in your region and stay informed about the types of volcanoes nearby. Some volcanoes erupt explosively, while others have slower lava flows. Create an emergency plan. Work with your family to create an emergency plan. This should include escape routes, meeting points, and communication strategies. Make sure everyone knows the plan by heart. Build an emergency kit. Prepare an emergency kit with essentials like food, water, first aid supplies, flashlights, and dust masks. Include a battery-powered radio to stay updated on emergency broadcasts. No evacuation route. Identify safe evacuation routes ahead of time. Plan multiple routes in case your primary one is blocked by ash or lava. Remember, during an eruption, roads may be closed or congested. During a volcanic eruption, when the volcano begins to erupt, your focus should shift to immediate safety. Here's what you need to do during the eruption. Follow evacuation orders. If authorities issue an evacuation order, leave immediately. Do not wait to gather more belongings. Your safety is the priority. Stay indoors if not evacuating. If you're not in an evacuation zone, stay indoors. Close all windows, doors, and vents. Use damp towels to seal any gaps that might let in ash. Protect yourself from ash. Volcanic ash is not just dust. It's made of tiny, sharp particles that can damage your lungs. Wear a mask or use a cloth to cover your nose and mouth. Protect your eyes with goggles. Be aware of lahars and lava flows. Lahars are deadly mud flows caused by volcanic activity, and they can travel fast. If you're near a river or valley, move to higher ground immediately to avoid being swept away. Stay informed. Keep your radio tuned to emergency broadcasts for updates. Information can change rapidly during an eruption, so it's crucial to stay informed about the latest developments. After a volcanic eruption, once the eruption has subsided, the danger isn't over yet. Here's what you need to do after the eruption. Wait for official all clear. Do not return to your home until authorities give the official all clear. Volcanic areas can remain dangerous for days or even weeks after the main eruption. Avoid ash-filled areas. Ash can collapse roofs, contaminate water supplies, and make breathing difficult. Avoid areas with heavy ash fall. And be careful when removing ash from your property. Wear protective gear. Check for structural damage. Once it's safe to return, check your home for structural damage. Look for cracks in the walls or bailings and foundation. If your home is damaged, contact professionals for help before re-entering. Clean up safely. When cleaning ash, wet it down to prevent it from becoming airborne. Use gloves and a mask to protect yourself and dispose of the ash properly. It's not just dirt, it can be hazardous. Seek medical attention if needed. If you or anyone in your family has breathing difficulties, persistent coughing, or other health issues after the eruption, seek medical attention immediately. Volcanic eruptions are unpredictable and dangerous, but with the right preparation and response, you can protect yourself and your loved ones. Remember, staying informed and being prepared are your best defenses. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more life-saving tips and survival guides. Stay safe.